This is Internet Business Mastery, Episode 69. In a world where bosses control your life and thoughts of escape fill your mind, where inspiration seems dead and cynicism rules the masses, you have a desire to break free. You feel the need to take control. Now, there exists a place where the secrets of freedom and wealth are given to those who believe. InternetBusinessMastery.com Free your mind. Hello and welcome to Internet Business Mastery Online at InternetBusinessMastery.com. I'm Sterling. And I'm Jay. And we're here to help you escape the 9 to 5 and live the lifestyle of your dreams by turning your life's passion into a profitable internet business, even if you're just getting started today. On this episode of Internet Business Mastery, we're going to teach you about hacking the overwhelm, how to avoid paralysis when starting an internet business. And in the quick tip, we're going to give you a resource to help you consume audio and video content quicker so you can learn faster. And we'd like to remind you that if you'd like to get a jump start on creating your own profitable internet business using our proven system, claim your risk-free trial membership to the Internet Business Mastery Academy by going to freeaudiogift.com. So Jay, what's been going on for you lately? Well, first of all, I need to inform you that from now on, you're going to have to uh, refer to me as Captain James T. Kirk. Oh, really? <laughs> Oh, Captain, you gotta my see, Captain. You got to see the Space Age chair I bought yesterday. I know oh, you got yeah. uh, recently one of the nice uh, Herman Miller Aerons. And uh, I went and checked one of those out. Super nice. But then I got pulled into the funky design of their newest thing called the Embody, the Herman Miller Embody. And <laughs> you've got to Google this thing and see the images. It's pretty wild. The like spine looking. It looks like something, I don't know, straight out of the uh, Enterprise uh, <laughs> bridge or something. But I'm definitely excited to get that thing because uh, I figure as much time as I spend sitting when I do work, uh, I'm going to treat my body right and get a good chair. And you know, as soon as I sat down in the thing, it was like it was hugging me. It's like, Ooh, yeah, I remember nice. seeing that. Uh, there was a store here in San Diego. And it's funny because I passed it thinking, oh, yeah, right. And I actually didn't know it was the uh, Aeron chair because I went to the traditional one because I, yeah. I had already used it before when I worked in my last profession. Um, so I just went to the one I, I knew. But yeah, when you showed me that picture yesterday, I'm like, I remember walking past it going, what the? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, well, it's I'm pretty wild. It and it, it, it's yeah, it felt it felt great. I mean, it's certainly one of those things where you got to go try them both and and see uh, what style fits you. But I'm super excited to get uh, get that chair, and maybe I'll have to post some pictures as soon as it arrives. Uh, <laughs> nice. I, I went with the safe black conservative color. You can get some wild looking colors and things. And uh, I guess I'm just not adventurous enough. Either that, or I just didn't want when I moved back to New York City the like city grime coming off my clothes and making my like bright orange colored chair look dirty right away so i just went with the black color but uh the most important thing is the comfort level so super excited for that uh also been thinking lately but i guess just give an update uh, for those who've been listening about how we've been reducing our time largely thanks to virtual assistants uh, and working less, definitely been uh, working less and getting, I mean, as we said, we're getting very used to this idea as we kind of uh, scale back. But, um, you know, I was thinking about that yesterday because I was redoing my time budget, you know, because we're you know working significantly less uh, number of hours. I was like, well, I need to kind of make sure my time budget is in, in line with, with the number of hours that, and, and making sure that the most important deliberate, I'm being very deliberate about the most important actions to reach our goals. And, um, you know, I was, I was able to very nicely still make some good decisions and make it fit into the time, but the, you know, the amount of time that we've chosen to work on our businesses. And, uh, you know, the cool thing is then shortly after that, I was looking at like income and expense project projections, you know, from various businesses and things. And, you know, for internet business mastery, we're, you know, last two months, we've exceeded the goals that we had previously set for, you know, income, yet we're working, you know, <laughs> less hours, like a third less of the hours. So it's just kind of cool to see that principle going in action of the less I work, the more I make. I mean, something that we've heard many mentors say in the past. And, uh, you know, it just, it's definitely for, I mean, when I redid my time budget, it forced me to make 
very deliberate decisions about, okay, what are the real high value actions I should be working on here? What should I be outsourcing to my VA? And you know, what is just actually in actuality, just not worth my time because in the end, it's not going to bring that much money in. So, uh, you know, it's just very cool to see that whole process in action. Yeah, the other interesting thing about that is is when looking at possible things to do for the day, it, it definitely you you mentioned it a little bit there is is this really going to bring in, you know, what I really want with the time I'm going to spend on it. It's got to be really super important for me to put my time and effort into it personally. Now, if it's something that we don't know or, you know, we don't know what the actual output's going to be on it, then of course we can give it to a VA and test it that way so that we're not taking too much time on, let's say, what's the word? undiscovered or untested items, yeah. you know, that we don't know what we're going to, you know, what power is going to come from that. Yeah. And I guess, I mean, to give an example, I mean, you know, clearly we're spending less time. Well, I mean, I guess, yeah, well, yeah, we're spending less time on say, like where we focus with affiliate income on our businesses, but we're being more deliberate about just very specific programs that, you know, we know and like and trust and that have a large bang for buck when it comes to the commissions that we make, as well as the value that it provides to our audience. So, you know, obviously there, even though now it's gone from, several hours a month of, of just fine tuning in conversions on affiliate and income and making a, a few extra bucks extra a month. It's like, well, how about just every couple months spending a few hours on one really high impact kind of uh, thing and having it have a huge return. So, you know, those kinds of decisions obviously just make a, a lot more sense when you're forced to think through things a little bit more in that way. So, uh, so anyway, there's, you know, what's been on my mind, I guess, an update on the whole working less and making more money. Um, so far, it's working out great. So it's really good stuff. Yeah, it came just in time for me as well as I, I have uh, one of my daughters staying with me for a month. So basically, I, I try and get everything done by right around 12, maybe one o'clock. Um, and again, that's understanding that we get up about 10. So and, and then I've got the rest of the day for us to go play. Yeah, And I really really enjoy it. So, and it's funny too, because it's going to be hard to get back into, uh, I don't know, as we launch something or, you know, we've got this platinum mastermind coming, coming up, uh, you know, gearing back into working a little bit more. Yep. Guess we'll see how that goes. <laughs> yeah, I'm comes. excited about it too, but it's definitely enjoyable to take this time as well. Well, I'm really excited for, uh, this episode's topic. So let's go ahead and dive into the feature segment. And now, the feature segment. All right, so in this episode, we are going to talk about hacking the overwhelm. We have seen, uh, you know, a number of different entrepreneurs worked with a number of different people, listened to, you know, a lot of different people email us, uh, students in the academy. And, you know, there's some degree of overwhelm that can definitely hit us at different times in our entrepreneurial process. And so this is a very important topic because we see it hold too many people back when really there's a lot of you know, easy solutions to just getting over some of those little bumps in the road. So as I said earlier, I'm really excited for this episode. This is going to be a really good one. In fact, <laughs> I was chatting with uh, one of our listeners uh, earlier and I said, oh yeah, I'm, I'm really excited for this episode today. It's going to be a good one. He's like, uh, it's funny you say that. I don't think I've ever heard a bad episode of Internet Business oh, Mastery. Nice. And uh, I said, I guess that's kind of, I guess I say that then in kind of a Conan O'Brien self-deprecating, uh, oh yeah, it's a good one today. Even I'm going to listen to this one. <laughs> so <laughs> nice. uh, so uh, here we go in the good stuff. So we've got seven specific different tips on how to overcome overwhelm and avoid paralysis when starting your own internet business. And uh, number one is going to be no surprise, something we've talked about before many a time, and that is to create your definite major purpose and refer to it often. Definite major purpose is just having, you know, it, it's what do you want in life? It's that lifestyle design. What are you working for by putting internet business together? Is it to have more money for traveling? Is it to be able to upgrade where you live? Is it able to spend more time with your kids? Is it to, you know, knowing all those different things, knowing the fulfillment factors and the things that you need to have in an internet business in order to make you happy. I mean, for us, it was to be able to constantly be teaching others the things that we're passionate about. So, so these are all parts of the definite major purpose. It's that one big thing that you're really working towards in life. And, you know, it, it's 